Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Today is March 13th, 2020, and uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another live stream. Today we're doing open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, and more. And there's a lot going on. Hello, Spider Man, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. I gotta pop out the chat here. And uh, pop, let me pop out the chat. There we go. Cool. Now that's done. Awesome. There's a lot going on. Are you guys busy at the theater? Um, there is, uh, by the way, just a quick little Reno Mike. How are you doing? Just a quick little note. Uh, it is stormy here tonight. Okay. It's windy. Beware the Ides of March, right? So it's a little chaotic here. If we end up losing, losing the connection, uh, I'll try to get back on. Uh, okay. If not, we're doing another live stream tomorrow. Okay. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up, uh, just in case uh, we do lose uh, power. Okay. And for those uh, that are going to be watching this on another platform right now bitshoot uh youtube uh welcome sleepy waves how are you doing chaotic at the theater i bet i bet crazy times brother crazy times brother crazy times but we did uh you know we have talked about these we system been live streaming politics and stuff right king reformed I have coronavirus. <laughs> well, drink, uh, drink uh, your orange juice. Take your vitamin C. Uh, don't smoke. Uh, don't get anyone else infected. You should be able to ride it out if you do. Okay. Got to love stormy weather though. Kind of relaxing. Very relaxing. Very relaxing. Hi, Chicho. How's it going? Captain Hawk, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. I love my ass off. Even being prepared for it doesn't really prepare you for it. No, no. Because it's because you can sense uh, the energy in the air in people around you, right? There's a certain vibe, certain energy that is being given out where people are in their own thoughts doing things or thinking about things or um, it's interesting right the asinine stuff being uh, posted on Facebook right now is giving me a headache yeah coolio I went on <laughs> yeah I went on there just for a tinsy little bit just to I don't go on there but I had to do a couple of things I'm not active on there wait I can't smoke you uh, if you have coronavirus, if you got, if you're if you got chest infection, uh, best not to smoke anything, really. Uh, I, but I'm not a doctor, <laughs> so <laughs> maybe your doctor will say otherwise. <laughs> went to the storm and it's crazy how went into the store and crazy how many things are just out of stock from people hoarding. Yeah, a friend of mine was arguing, trying to say it's just like yeah, I've had that. I've had I've had that discussion with people like because we've been crunching the numbers for two months now. I looked it up. We we're we we're mid January. I was looking at the numbers and mid January we did the math stream. We looked at so it's been two months, right? Back then people were telling me, Oh, it's just like the flu chicho. I'm like, dude, it's different. It's different, right? And then sent me a source with a YouTube video of a doctor literally disagreeing with their statement. Hey, Chicho and Nicholas, how are you doing, brother? What's up, bro? Doing well, doing well. Spring break. Woohoo. Most of my students are adios amigos, right? Love them. But uh, it gets a little chaotic sometimes, right? So I have a handful of students during the spring break. So I'm going to try to uh, ground a little and start doing a few things I've promised everybody that I'm going to do, right? Including including some readings some readings right so we'll see we'll see um, 
And if the schools get canceled in my area, <laughs> lucky for us, more live streams, more videos, right? You guys are aware that this was a bioweapon. It could be uh, China. And now, King, check this out. The possibilities of what this is are many. You're, don't, don't latch on to one possibility, right? The only thing you can latch on to is the numbers and take those with a grain of salt. The best thing you can do is look at the numbers, do the mathematics, right? Everything else is a theory, is speculation. It could be misinformation, disinformation. So you ha if you're looking at the situation, what you got to do is look at it with open mind. Realize that right now we have no idea what this thing is, right? Where it came from, where it's going, and how it's going to play out, right? The only thing we can you can actually rely on is the mathematics, right? So if you're attaching yourself to this bit of hypothesis, uh, right? then you're limiting your existence right you're limiting your thought right felt to help with this or uh, mm, yeah was just about to go to sleep and get chicho's notification it's half three it's half three. Oh no in sisos 22 you're gonna stay awake i'll have this up uh, probably within I'm going to try to do load up three political current events live streams back to back uh, on BitChute and YouTube. I loaded one today. We have one that we did like a week ago that I haven't loaded on. So I might try to get that one up tomorrow or next day. And then we'll try to load this up and then catch up on the rest of it. So if you need to go to sleep, go to sleep. Okay. It'll be up in a couple of days, two, three, four, five a week max. Reno Mike, oh, I was wondering how your health... Uh, healthcare system works there uh, like how uh, people pay for it and if they have to pay uh, deductibles uh, Reno Mike um, in Canada our healthcare system is basically the the core of it is pretty much uh, free right like in my province the new government waived even the uh, medical deductible that you have to pay right or they're waiving it right the previous before that you had to pay uh, a little bit of money per month based on your income level and stuff like this um, it's different than the united states canada is different than the united states however if you need certain types of care if you want to fast track if you need medication pharmaceuticals eye care dentists they're not covered you got to pay up right so and those are expensive right this one just happened to leak out a bit. Nicholas, hello, friend. Nicholas, Spider Man, subscribe. Hootlum, Hootlum, oh, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. Even Simple Flower is totally sold out. Ah, oh, even Simple Flower. Uh, I guess people are going to bake bread at home. I don't know. Pancakes. Pancakes all day, all night, all week. How quickly we forget the H1N1 numbers. Now that was. An actual uh, pandemic it's not it's not it, 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 the you have to consider exponential growth you have to consider the globalization of things you have to consider movement of humanity you have to consider supply chain you have to consider many things that are in play right now it's not just this number or that number it's all linked up right you have to consider uh, economic warfare proxy war there's a lot going on this isn't just one thing right it's being used as an excuse for some to do whatever they want but i'm on spring break and i was at the acc tournament basketball tournament and it got canceled two day uh, uh two days i didn't see my favorite team play oh no hoodlum hose unfortunate but i think it's possibly could be okay um sports stuff like this can be enjoyed later as well right now is a great time to have a career your online content production i guess so i was thinking about this too sleepy waves uh what's your view on the herd immunity uh tactic where they said they they are going to allow 60 percent of the population in the uk to catch the coronavirus uh in sisos uh, my take and i've mentioned this before on previous live streams i think they're just letting it play out through the population what they need to do right now not to overwhelm the medical systems so to prevent 
a lot of people dying is to prolong the the time it takes for it to run through the population right so they don't want everyone to get it in one shot because the system will completely collapse right my take is it's already out the genie's out of the bottle it, it's got to run through right so my take is it's going to run through but they want to make sure it runs through at a pace that they can at least uh, make sure or we can at least make sure because we have a part to play in this right like if you irrelevant if you think where the origin of this thing is really it's irrelevant right uh, the, you know there are people that think it's this this thing's this, this, this we can talk about all the theories on uh, another stream because this is going to play out for a while right we could talk about it later but right now because there's people panicking and people freaking out let's talk about what what our role in it what the whole um what we should be uh making sure if if you believe it's going to roll out right if you if you think this thing is for real right um there are people who think it's not for real which is legit if they don't think it's real it's okay they can go about their business if they like right but if you actually think this thing is legit right and it is a threat to certain segment of the population because if you look at the data the more elderly or more susceptible to more serious um uh, there, there's greater degree of um it could it could, might not work out well for them right and we all have elderly right we all have people that we care about right so if you're on the mindset that this thing is for real and the effect infection rate might be for real and it's gonna you know play out and uh you know there are people dying and all this jazz right if you believe that then what you need to do or what we need to do is try to make sure to it doesn't spread as quickly as it could spread right so we don't want to spike everybody gets it at the same time or 50 percent of the population gets it at the same time right what we want to do is make sure our healthcare systems don't collapse no matter where you are right so what you got to do is make sure your healthcare system doesn't collapse while this thing runs through the population okay and the best way to do that is we should know by now right um you know hygiene wash your hands don't cough sneeze on people um, have a little bit of restraint in gatherings right cancel gatherings if you need to because the this thing is showing signs that it doesn't it, it's asymptomatic it doesn't show signs uh, of infection the person being sick for up to a month right so you know it's just logic it's just mathematics right it's just as simple as that right sorry i ranted on that a little bit but is i'm finding that people are having a hard time grasping the situation for some reason um, it's weird right uh everyone throwing shit at the wall <laughs> see what sticks yeah basically reno mike that's what's going on right well these dogs are immune to the virus so i'll stay happy okay cool captain hog oh man i missed a lot of stream on my rant my apologies gang i guess i have to get that out of my system a little confused on my part i guess right uh suggested that you guys should gaming anarchism i'm gonna allow that because i don't know what that is uh i'm gonna read that there's one comment that's been held i'll just i'll cnbc some gag off <laughs> suggested the u.s should expose oh yeah i saw that one allow Boop. Uh, i'm gonna scroll down so i don't uh nicholas can i ask uh oop, where to go so nicholas says can i ask an off-topic question for sure nicholas ask away brother mick silva how are you doing there are two types of people those that get 10 20 30 and those those that get 10 100 1000 uh, some people can get both of them too right there's a lot of people that get both understand da, 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 da. what makes someone a leninist 
I don't know. Read like believing word for word what Lenin said. I don't know. What makes someone a fanatic? Someone that reads any of the spiritual texts and takes it word for word. It, right? I don't know. Cinemark is a theater name. Oh, Cinemark Spider-Man. Okay, Cinemark, it is all reserved seating. But due to COVID, they have switched it where you can sit wherever you want. Uh, also, all the show times are only between 1 p.m. and 8 p.m. So no, no nighttime showings anymore. Eh? Interesting. Numbers have dropped exponentially. People coming to the theater. Yeah. I hate when people cite the recovery rate as 93%, ignoring the fact that that means the death rate is seven, which is extremely high, like ridiculous. And by the way, I posted our table earlier today, and the fatality rate is kicking up. It's 3.7, so it's kicking up a little bit. So it's starting to edge towards 4% right now. Okay. And those are based on the release numbers, right? That's the best we could do. What was Lenin's main principle? Uh, I don't know what his main principle was. I know general theory of uh, the stuff, uh, sleepy waves. Basic math is, is a hard concept for the Americans to grasp, I guess. Coolio, Canadians as well. Uh, I think in general, mathematics, uh, education of mathematics has deteriorated to a level where people are having a hard time grasping nature, right? Which is insane right which is insane this also includes people who are in the western world and in this world in that world in that world because some places the mathematics is powerful right the techniques but the application is lacking right so it's more about memorization monkey see mon monkey see monkey do some places it's just different it's just all across the world the uh we got way more illiterate people in the language of mathematics, which is detrimental to society. You're horrendous, horrendous. Just being introduced to. Uh, you remind me of Varg Karen Kikernes. I don't know who that is, Darth uh, Vila. Is that a musician? Is it is it likely that a young person could get the virus and not even know? It? Yeah, for sure, of course. Hold them hose for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think that is the case. That is exactly what is happening. That's nothing. Howdy. Howdy. Night. Howdy, night. How are you doing? Or morning showings either. No matinees, eh? We usually have early show times too, around 10 a.m. Yeah, I used to cast some of those, the 10 a.m. shows. They don't have them in my area anymore either. Not that I'm, I haven't been for a while actually, so. That the, hey Chicho, night night. How are you doing? I'm driving for two hours. Just listening tonight. Hope you stay well. Thanks, brother. Um, careful driving, man. Can you talk about the state of emergency Trump declared? Um, I like everywhere is going to create. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the whole world's in a state of emergency. Every country is going to declare a state of emergency, and that's more of a bureaucratic nature where there, you know, certain triggers are going to be hit so there's going to be more funds available this way and that way but a huge chunk of the funds is going to wall street in the united states anyway 1.5 trillion <laughs> like <laughs> insanity right people i know glorify my math skills here in america i think they're mediocre in other places in the world yeah i think my math skills are mediocre it is insane chicho considering that before the technological revolution we had many periods of enlightenment many actually we're having a period of enlightenment right now uh fly btc fly i think we're we're going through one of those periods right now to the truth that's currently our plan in the uk to let it sweep through the nation over a long period of time rather than hit the mass or mass directly the only issue i have is there uh talking about it as herd herd immunity i could be wrong but i've uh i've yet to see any scientific evidence that acquiring uh acquiring the virus can make you immune but there is evidence of a reinfection i hope it works uh yeah there is reinfection but if you get the flu one season 
can you get the flu in the future? Yeah, for sure, because the thing mutates, right? But it is to a certain degree herd mentality, right? You're hopefully uh, strengthening the herd, right? Unfortunately, that's the way it looks like it's playing out, right? I think it's a good time to invest in stocks. I wouldn't be in it. Okay. I've, I've mentioned this in the last year uh, since we started doing political live streams, like an online live streams. Uh, I've mentioned this in previous live streams, like a couple of months ago or whatever, too. I've told people that I would have been 100% puts, right? Betting that the market was going to fuck market was going to collapse right so i would have been a hundred percent puts right now i would have sold if i was a hundred percent puts i would have sold probably 60 percent of my position um ah, maybe more maybe around 70 percent of my puts i would have sold right so cashed out and if you were a hundred percent puts you would have it would have been huge right and i'd be holding on to about 30 percent of it and right now i'd be looking for a balance to be able to put more there are some things i've looked at if i was interested in playing the markets which i'm not right i refuse to participate in that in that system right now anyway who knows what i do in the future I, i've played it in the past and right now if i was up for it i'm tracking a lot of stocks there are stocks that i believe are ridiculously cheap given an amazing yield have a solid business base that would be an amazing investment for the long run right but i'm not interested in it and i don't have the liquid funds to play it because it's not my game right but unless you know what it is you're doing your stock picking specifically uh, you know you you know the industry you know the market i would not be going in long any position for any position for a long period of time personally right unless you know what those are right if you want to play the bounces sure this thing's going to go wacko right those people playing the bounces right now are laughing their asses off right i'm not too happy about the uk response so far no it's been horrendous it's time to invest in home service uh, uh good stocks maybe Maybe if you sell before the recession, da, da, da. if Amazon would finally announce their uh, delivering enhancements to the colon, then WHO needs to be dismantled for taking so long to declare a pandemic. Uh, 100,000 uh, K flights in the sky, business as usual, but we will pay the price. We will fly. It's, it, it will, right? It's going to take a while to play out sleepy waves in new york city they still haven't closed public schools because they there are way too many homeless kids in the system and the city doesn't know what to do with them and there's also pe parents that are working that can't take time off work and who's going to wash the kids when the kids go home like this is the whole economic crap aspect of it right most centralized uh these uh, we know from the opcw leaks that came out those opcw leaks that came out that should have been a final nail in the coffin for most of these world organizations right that are completely centralized and completely corrupt that people should not trust in them right it doesn't mean they're 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 intentionally lying it doesn't mean that you know it's all misinformation or disinformation it doesn't mean they don't have uses but you have to take what they say with a grain of salt okay you have to take what they say when they come out and say it as oh it's finally going to be filtered out to the masses so whatever is going on there's at least whatever they're announcing they're about two months behind right so there's a lag period there and whatnot so it is what it is right true very true could uh, make a bit uh, tough in the meantime though nicholas chicho have you ever dealt with a scammer that is pulling a product shipped but no item arrives uh long story short i contacted the company via email and got no reply for an order update received nothing so i contacted my bank for a refund and they got it uh but now the company are claiming they sent the item and that it have i have both the refund and the item 
PayPal has awarded them payment for the item twice and I am left to contest it. But how do you prove you didn't receive a number? Did, Nicholas, did they have a tracking number on the item? Right? If they didn't have a tracking number on the item, they can't prove that you received the item. Like, like I shipped out one comic book where the person, well, I showed up the whole bunch of comic books, but one of the comic books I shipped out because it wasn't on my threshold to put the tracking on it, right? I didn't put tracking on it. I should have put tracking on it, right? It was on the, I felt it was a little weird, this one. So I should have put tracking on it, but I said, okay, that's okay. I'll just send that off, right? And the person said he didn't get it. So I, you know, I said, hey, can we wait another week? Because it was Christmas time. You want to deliver in three days. It was ridiculous, right? But uh, we waited another week. He said, no, I don't have it. So I refunded the full amount, right? Like we didn't get PayPal involved. We didn't get eBay involved. I just refunded him because I didn't have proof that it had gotten there, right? And he could have been telling the truth, right? I can't assume the guy was lying, right? So PayPal... I dispute it, Nicholas. It, like, if there's tracking number on there, um, I actually was talking with someone, or someone posted a comment saying that even the tracking number say they delivered it, but in certain parts in Canada anyway, with the tracking number, even if you put a tracking number, some places the mailman will just leave it at the door, so there are people coming and grabbing stuff off the porch so even with tracking you might not even get it and i believe the person in the comments said uh, even though the tracking said the package had been arrived the seller still had to refund it because the person said they didn't get it so i would dispute it nicholas i would dispute it okay there's more to the story but too long to type that's the bare bones of it at the mono and down oh 170 pounds thanks to pay oh i would dispute it man i would call them i would call them like forget about trying to do it with email and stuff give them a call find a real person to talk to that's what i would do brother okay uh no no tracking which is why i thought paypal would favor me but it seems they think i have more to gain with a refund and the item yeah i would dispute that nicholas i would i would try to get my hands on a on a human being to talk to and if they say no ask for the next level keep on asking for the next level keep on asking for the next level right it's a pain in the ass but just keep on asking for the next level um, after that if you really want to you could file a you could file a claim at the courts but i wouldn't go that far I have rang them. They favored the company. Oh, brother, that sucks. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I wouldn't know. Uh, like for me, I was willing to take my lumps with eBay. I called them up. I talked to them because the person was trying to pull a scam when I sold an item. And they, the person, what did he do anyway? He, he did all kinds of crazy stuff, right? So I called them and eBay could see all my emails that went between them and the guy had never responded so they favored me it was still a hassle but if they hadn't favored me I don't know I don't know if I would have like I don't know if I'd be comfortable putting more stuff on eBay PayPal PayPal is a different story they almost have a monopoly in the system right yeah okay I will ask for higher up yeah if you haven't asked for higher up go higher up go higher up go higher up okay i'm just going to catch up on some of the chat because uh i scroll down this is important dealing with this type of stuff because that stuff is i was looking for nicholas's comment um if there's anything that was addressed towards me uh actually i'm at the bottom of the chat if there's anything that was addressed towards me you guys want to know uh, there's a lot of stuff going on just uh sorry about that but if you post it again let me show you what i got for snacks pastries i got some pastries from mom with homemade jam that i made right this is the jam that we made the plum jam that we made during the live streams very good okay so can we talk about the new <laughs> little uzi album i haven't listened to it <laughs> Uh, 
I don't know. Only downside of this virus is, is the canceling of F1 races till at least the May. I wouldn't say the only downside. There are some people losing their lives, right? There's a lot of them. Mandolins playing again. Um, I guess I wish I could transport it to you guys. If I could transport it to you guys, I would take one of these, cut it up, and go poof, 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 poof. You get. And tomorrow we're gonna do a uh, some talk on the uh, on COVID nineteen, right? Can you talk more about what excuses the U.S. government is using to give Wall Street a trillion dollars? Um, because they want to prop up the markets. It's, it's not even an excuse. Like anyone that knows what's going on, it knows it's just straight up theft of the coffers of the United States, like taxpayer money being handed out to Wall Street again, just like 2008, right? But the 1.5 bit a trillion is not going to do much. Like for you and me, that's a lot. For them, it's chump change, right? The market dropped how many trillion in the last two weeks? So it's just just giving more money to them. It's, it's not going to do anything to save the economy. Not even close, right? Does Canada have any elections going on right now? Would be interesting to hear how they are adapting to the virus compared to the U.S. Um, no elections. We just had our elections recently uh, last year. So uh, it's it just finished. Chicho, bank time. Mukbang. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Holding who holding holding hose. Everything you eat just looks so good. Mm. Thanks. I try to eat well. I demand two pastries. You want two pastries? <laughs> Delusion, Chef Chicho. I'll show you guys how to cook these pastries uh, in the future. Doing a live stream. I know how to make these. Phenomenal. Very good. Easy to make too. Well, relatively. You need the jam. The jam takes probably more work than the pastries, right? How does it work to prop up the music Mark, Mark, <laughs> music market? How does it work? To, they, they give it to the banks and the banks buy stocks, right? They're just buying stocks. They're giving it to, the, to Wall Street and they're going to buy their stocks. They're going to say, oh, it's to pay back that, but they've been buying stocks. So they've been liquidating their um, funds, buying back stock. Now they need more money to make sure the business operates, but then they're going to sit on that money a little and buy more stocks and give give out special bonuses to whoever's cutting the deals and stuff like that. It's just a scam. The whole thing is a scam. Chicho, all jokes aside, I want to see, uh, see you in a chef hat. <laughs> Do you believe any of the conspiracy theories if you would call it on the virus itself? Uh, yeah, there's a few few possibilities to how this thing's playing out the origins and why and all this jazz but i'd rather not go there right because we can't confirm anything it's all it's all theories right now right and i love uh i love thinking about different theories right entertaining the ideas right because if i can think of it if someone else can think of it they've thought of it the only thing you have to ask yourself is this are centralized powers capable of anything right centralized government centralized corporations centralized capital is centralized capital capable of doing anything if it is then whatever you've thought of might be possibly something they would do right because if they're capable of anything for me centralized power is capable of anything right things more horrendous than i can think of so yeah you can you should entertain different ideas of how this thing came to be right why not right but don't put your eggs in that basket all of it and go this is it this is it this is it you don't know this is it right it's like lone gunman 
people with JFK, right? All, there's all these theories of how, who, why, and all this jazz. The only thing you really need to know is Oswald was a patsy, right? right? So even if he was involved, he was a patsy, right? Who? So there's no lone gunman, just lone dude coming doing this, right? There isn't. I don't know anyone that actually thinks that, right? Do you? Do you guys know anyone that thinks that? believes in a lone gunman story like do you know anyone that believes in the incubator babies for uh iraq kuwait thing i don't like who who believes that all you have to know is they lied right and they will lie so all you got to do is call them out on the lies right lying 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 right hey chicho hope all is well as always lonely piggy how are you doing i don't know if it came up already um having only popped in moments ago but have you seen the canadian research uh team isolating the coronavirus from covid pro no i haven't seen that lonely piggy i know uh, the canadian government is directing a certain amount of funds going in that direction for research and stuff like this uh, but i haven't heard any news that they've found anything or there's there's any breakthroughs who's like bo hose bo but with H, bow, hose, hoodlum hose, <laughs> who's, boo, who's, oh, hoodlum who's, oh, man, I gotta learn my pronunciation of these things. What frustrates me is how much power China seems to have now in the West. Mainstream media posting articles about how amazing China did to slow the virus, and I'm I'm sad here thinking to myself, they welded people into their homes and left them to survive on their own. Just unbelievable, Mick. The main the mainstream, like I don't like the only time I see this is WHO saying it, and that blew me away when I watched their their first uh i believe it was their first live stream or their second live stream when the guy was praising china i realized that i'm not going to watch those things anymore right i'm not interested in being propagandized so i don't really watch that stuff um it i don't expect anything from mainstream propagandists they're they don't have the best interest of me and you in mind right south korea was capable of delivering the coronavirus test in drive throughs us can't even test five people per million yeah but uh, pretty much we sort of knew that uh, the u.s health system is going to be overwhelmed the u.s is going to be overwhelmed you're so close holden 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 who's Holden who's Holden who's like Texas Hold'em no that's Hold'em Holden who's Holden who's <laughs> three research teams in Ontario have apparently isolated the coronavirus from COVID-19 I read about it earlier this evening we're still we're still ways away from a vaccine but this is a great step in the right direction go Canada go Canada Go anybody that can. Uh, yes, you got it. <laughs> it's holding oh, who's holding who's holding who's nice. <laughs> Plenty of people in the U.S. believe the babies uh, thrown from incubators pretense for invading. Really, they do. I guess I've already filtered out all those people out of my life right in canada anyway or more accurately they just never question u.s military imperialism because they're brainwashed by fox news and cnn i i have some friends that watch associates family that watch cnn and fox like i had i was having a conversation with some loved ones right um we're playing we're playing monopoly <laughs> for <laughs> we're playing the monopoly games we've played um uh, during the live streams that we put out right so we're playing monopoly and one of my relatives loved one 
uh, he turned to me and I said, Chicho, so tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on. I, I turned to him and said, listen, dude, I don't even know where to start. You watch CNN. Like, there's no, like, I can't even bring you up to speed. You watch CNN. Like, where am I going to start? Let's just play the game. Because I was just telling him, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, just keep feeding him information, right? You know. This is more, it could be more serious than this, economic aspects, political aspects. We're talking about this just the way we are right now. Uh, but with them, I could go a little bit harder, I guess, just because I don't have platform sensors kicking in, right? So my reply to him was, look, dude, you watch CNN. Like, I can't even, like, where do I begin to, to explain this to you? So if you know people that are watching these mainstream propagandas, tell them to stop right if they're not stopping don't 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 get angry at them and stuff like this just because if you're informed you know what's going on in the world so you're probably headed a game from them right anywhere between a, a few days to a few years of what's coming and what's happening and stuff like this right so just inform them and over time what they'll notice is you know a little bit more than they do or you know a little earlier than they do or you know it a lot earlier than they do and when they come to you and say hey can you tell me what's going on your reply should be dude you watch cnn like i can't even i don't even know where to begin right the first thing you need to do to know what's going on you need to stop watching that once you stop watching that then come talk to me because you can't as an individual counter them being propagandized multiple hours a day it's impossible right so and then they'll say you know they're addicted to it they might not stop watching but you continue on your track and something else will happen and they'll come to you and say hey can you tell me what's going on your reply should be dude you're watching cnn where do you begin <laughs> right and you do this enough when they come to you um hopefully they'll understand right hopefully they'll understand who's is from my uh my the university of virginia ah we're all we call ourselves woohoos or who's ah no way that's cool. My government is capable of any that 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 that. Uh, oh yeah, what about this? Uh, incentives. Absolutely, a centralized power government is capable of anything, just as long as it adds to their their so-called agenda and profit them. Uh, they have no issue in in whoever has to get hurt, and in in this case, unfortunately, die. Yeah, simple as that, right? And whose money they have to take and what control mechanisms they have to play that's it just realize what you know it's not right uh and you don't want to participate in it, whatever system right don't even know about it wearing a mask is a good idea don't listen to those that uh, post apocalypse how are you doing that discourage them don't panic buy medical masks but a simple washable cloth mask can be helpful uh post apocalypse it can be it depends where you are if you're going into the subways of new york like sleepy way like maybe right i personally wouldn't want to be in the subways of new york i've told family and stuff not to go to costco right because there's there's big gigantic lineups outside of costco's trying to get in to buy stuff to 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 protect them to so to protect them from a virus that is highly transmissible and is a usually a bad idea if there's a situation like this to go really crowded places right and they're picking up packages and what so i've been telling family members don't go to costco not a good idea right especially when there's lines of people going in what that's crazy dude i'm sorry my sentence didn't make sense Hold them who hold them who's hold them hold them hold them who's they need to be more men talking politics and twitch scary isn't there i don't know 
exactly i don't even know where to start with people who watch cable news i can't communicate with them they live in another universe yeah just inform them right plant seeds for the future imagine imagine watching cable news in 2020 imagine living with a father who has the tv on 20 hours a day yeah some people do unfortunately then informing him on con contrasting it yeah it's impossible right in a way it's good right now darth you are describing literally my life oh no where do i start to understand how the economy works as a whole is there a book that can get me started on the basics the bane, <laughs> the bane of existence if you want to get up uh, okay bane of existence let me catch up with the chat a little bit oh there's a fair bit of chat uh, in the morning wrapped around spider-man my my local costco line in the morning wrapped around the building um okay the bane the bane of existence this isn't the only one i'm going to send you to a website okay i'm going to send you to a website but this isn't the only place this is one perspective right let me grab it for you okay this is only one perspective is uh it doesn't include certain things that you need to know okay i disagree with some of it okay i disagree with some of the key points okay but this is one piece of the puzzle follow this person's blog okay and it's our martin armstrong okay follow this person's blog i'm not in contact with them i don't know them i'm not i'm not promoting them i'm not that i'm just this is a bit of information that i collect right I read all the free post blog posts that he puts up, right? Because I think he has a unique perspective on what's going on, right? And his experience in the markets, right? Aside from that, okay. Aside from that, here's a video, Chicho News Sources. here's a video i put out in 2018 and it includes uh sources of news for political and economic news that i follow some of them some of them i still follow some of them i don't anymore i've added others hopefully that'll get you started all right i'll dive in after the stream before bed thanks Chicho. my pleasure the bane my pleasure the logic of life and the armchair economics we're good oh yeah i've heard that that was good why can't there be a low iq virus that sterilizes unintelligent people uh do you believe in the iq test coolio i don't believe in the iq test i wouldn't i've never taken i think i've started an iq test and i said what is this garbage and i stopped taking it right uh maybe there are better versions out there i've never taken an iq test and i don't think i ever will i have no desire to i don't think iq is the be all and end all of everything right really i think that would be i know you're tongue in cheek but uh i disagree with that sentiment big time uh there are things that i have i'm clueless about there are emotions that uh you know there's a lot of stuff most of the older people who never have used pcs and computers uh to their benefit are probably dying all right i'll just that 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 Wuhan virus is a psyop being used for economic warfare. Don't believe the hype. Uh, three even, three even, uh, even. Uh, that's a possibility. We talked about this a little bit, right? There are lots of possibilities. You can entertain the ideas, but mm, it all depends what you mean by psyop, uh, economic warfare. Who's who are the parties playing economic warfare? Uh, against who with who um how much hype is there where is the hype is the hype related to the virus or the economic aspects of it or political aspects of it there's so much there right sorry i just got out of a facebook argument oh my god don't get into facebook arguments i'm a control controls engineer at an automation company i have a bachelor's degree in audio engineering i don't know what percentile of my class i was in 
I apologize for speaking out. No, the coolio, you don't have to apologize out of emotion. But the ignorance online right now is getting to me, and it's not even online, it's everywhere, right? People are just not aware, right? They don't know. You can't say that for sure. Yeah, I agree with Darth. Even you can't say that for sure. That's uh, misinformation or speculation. Or there, there's so many other theories out there, right? There. That's not the only one. China is now jumping on the same bandwagon as Iran and starting to point fingers at the U.S. as creating it. I think that's a big hoax. Yeah, possibly. But for me. I'm not like we're not part of that game we're as far as I'm concerned I am anyway a different game we need to take care of our ass take care of our society take care of our own ass take care of our own communities and stuff like this what are, what those big players are doing um, we have no control of that right now hopefully in the future we will but whatever what the, the thing that's been unleashed in a society and regarding politics economics in the last two decades uh, is going to play out unfortunately uh, without our input in a large way right i just use facebook for memes uh, being on facebook at all is counterproductive i agree uh, i agree i had a friend who on pa uh, on paper i looked at him as a genius uh, aced all his subjects but when it came to common sense it was non-existent yeah Ch -ch -ch. being a fit that, that yep i'm a waiter at a restaurant and we are being told to sanitize and wash our hands a lot at work however i feel like that won't stop spreading the virus if someone has it because we are constantly touching things and interacting with uh for hours on end yeah uh hold them uh yeah like uh, personally right now i think like going out to restaurants to eat going to bars to drink i know uh, uh, uh there one of our mods own, owns a bar and stuff like this but for me right now i have no desire to go to a bar to go to a movie theater to go to a concert to go to a restaurant to eat why right because our our main goal right now is to slow down the spread so the healthcare system doesn't get overwhelmed, right? So we have to do our part to help slow down the spread, right? That means chill, take some time off. Unfortunately, people have to work. Uh, Holden, like you're a, wait you're a waiter, you need, to, you need to make your money to pay rent and stuff like this to be able to eat. So that aspect of it exists as well. But how come we don't have some kind of safety nets set up for our societies that that can be taken care of right so people don't have to worry about that stuff right yeah coolie i agree i wouldn't be comfortable sharing uh salaries i certainly can't afford to not go to work though thankfully my office is going to allow working from home on a case-by-case -case basis awesome coolio that's good for real i don't care i just think it's lame when people uh exalt themselves by putting down everyone else we have to stay away from these uh countries it's that simple let the free men of middle earth band together once again <laughs> like i said i apologize wasn't directing at anyone particular yeah I, coolio i don't think you meant anything yeah for sure it was a generic thing a lot of people use that as in terms of the iq right yeah uh the ccp and the irgc need to point fingers to external sources to distract from internal um, systemic failings yeah do you think house prices interest rates are going to decrease dramatically interest rates have already decreased dramatically canada and the united states both dropped two basis points right 0.5 percent that's huge canada was 1.25 went down to 0.75 what percent drop is that right two out of five 40 percent drop in interest rates in just like that right 
advantage. The idea that no uh, sanitation and hygiene are not a perfect way to prevent transfer, but it's much better than doing nothing, much better than doing nothing. Interest rates are already going down because of the Fed rate cut. House prices will go down because of weak demand, increasing foreclosures, increasing supply. Yeah, I don't I don't like this one point five trillion dollar injection by the Fed. That's just going to them boys, right? To to their own people. They're just taking tax money and giving it to themselves, right? The safety net is over to Wall Street. Yeah. I wish people were prepared to do the civic organizing work at the local level to build up enough power to challenge entrenched centralized institutions. Many see what's wrong with the status quo, but are prepared to do little more than talk about it. What can we do to improve civic education in our communities? I think what's going to happen, um, gaming anarchism, is events like this are going to make people look uh, within right so for example there's food insecurity what's the best solution to food insecurity local community agriculture right when the supply chain is cut right education schools are being closed what's one of the best ways to start educating form little community groups where you can educate each other right um when it comes to um, um supplies right if for example from what i understand 90 95 percent let's say 90 percent of pharmaceuticals are produced in india and china right that's centralization on an absurd level what if the supply chain is cut that means 90 percent of pharmaceuticals like i don't take any pharmaceuticals hopefully you guys are not on pharmaceuticals but if your life depends on pharmaceuticals right there are a lot of elderly that need that are unfortunately taking a lot of pharmaceuticals what happens if the supply chain is cut how come every country we don't have and it's it, it's not because they can do it better it's because wall street they're penny pinching it's all about uh fiat currency the percent growth right it's not the economic system is flawed right so hopefully that'll make people look in, internal and go you know what we need to have everything inside a country that the country needs to function if the supply chain is cut right that that is essential right so this you know traumatic events like this are a great way to make sure that we start looking at decentralization maybe put it in another way maybe we need to be burned as a society to realize what it means to be burned and how we can prevent ourselves personally i was hoping that our societies would have learned the lesson with the 2008 scam financial scam the fed just came out and gave another 1.5 trillion to them to wall street to the same people they gave trillions to in 2008 right so the 1.5 trillion relative to they took when they took over freddie mac and fannie mae they took on four trillion dollars worth of debt aside from 700 billion on a monthly base 700 yeah 700 billion on uh, of the bailout money aside from injecting you know 30 billion per month for a number of years like wow i personally i thought people were going to wake up to the reality of it but what they did was they handed out crumbs to people and people were grateful for it we'll see if crumbs work this time too i think every time there's a crisis like this there are more and more people pulling away from centralized institutions you have to be insane not to right so once you start down that road they can't get you back it's a business model right they say uh a customer lost uh is four times what's the what's that saying i can't remember what the saying is uh, cost of a customer acquisition right there's a certain cost to acquire customers right and that cost really decides if a business is going to be successful or not so if it costs you a certain amount of money to a certain amount of funds a certain amount of capital to convince people to trust you to believe you to consume your product when you lose them you'll never get them back right because it costs like four times to bring them back so the system when it's constantly having crises like this and failing people people are pulling away from the centralized institutions and once you start pulling away from centralized institutions you start looking at the root problem of our societies 
you have no choice you, you will never go back to centralization on that level again right you're going to start looking within communities so for us what we need to do is build up the community network build up your social network online as well this is a community right build your social network online build your social network within your community within your residence your proximity make sure you're buying from local farmers local food producer producers if you need to get an education if there's an alternate education system in your area look into them see how they teach maybe they do a way better job than teaching through such so there's a lot of things going on there's so many ways to do it gaming anarchism so many ways so many ways right and stop consuming their crap that's one of the best ways you can do uh, Spider-Man Chicho 100% agree. I wish I could not go to work because my wife's immune system is compromised, but I have to to put food on the table. And the movie theater is still busy as usual. It's still busy, Spider-Man. Hey, wow. A lot of people are being careless. That to me blows my mind, right? They just don't that's the thing. A lot of people have don't really appreciate what exponential growth is, which is really has been our focus regarding this stuff, right? Uh, I'm gonna scroll down, guys, a little bit. Uh, Chicho, sleepy ways. Is the value of the dollar going to also drop? It depends what happens in the United States. It depends how it rolls out, right? I, I would have said before this that the U.S. dollar is gonna get stronger. Right now, how it plays out within the United States, we'll see how it works out. Okay. The Russian rupee is gonna get stronger, though. <laughs> <laughs> i got groceries last week yeah everything is sealing out now it's selling out yeah yeah coolio that's one thing i wanted to do i wanted to make sure we did right when we started making these videos regarding COVID 19 some of the first things i started saying is prepare yourself get some supplies because you don't want to be uh going to to the grocery store to where you have to get your supplies at the same time that everybody else is going right if you're going to avoid going there let the let that wave run through right because no matter how much supplies you got i think it's going to last what's going on it's going to take longer to play out right so because we have to make it longer to play out so we don't overwhelm the healthcare system right so that was one of the main things i was pushing for everybody here uh, at least to go get a little bit of supply and be prepared for what was happening right i'm glad uh, uh i hope you guys were doing i hope you guys were doing um i know i did it for my part and uh, i still have to go get more stuff right i'm scrolling down all the way to the bottom gang there's a lot of chat that i missed so uh, i'm gonna go down i'm gonna pop another pastry too nice plum jam super delicious look at the goodness in this look at that all right tart sweet and tart I just entered your stream are you talking about the virus uh, we have been and other things politics economics we're going to do a COVID 19 stream tomorrow night uh, starting at um, 8 15 pm same time we started today i'm not sure we might i might prep some data to look at but i'm not 100 sure if we're going to look at the data right because it's not the end of the month um but i might prep some data we've been doing uh if you go to my channel by the way five five six five are here oops if you look at the most recent videos loaded up we have a covid 19 playlist and there's a lot of i don't know how many videos there are now uh, there's a few videos we put out where we took a look at the numbers the data uh what the exponential we made some predictions and stuff it's so annoying to me everyone has to go into their savings or worse go bankrupt to try and get supplies meanwhile all these corporations are having great profits yeah they're 1.5 trillion 
the irs could have distributed 1.5 trillion as a tax rebate exactly right uh system already exists this this would ease markets worries for a long period of time while helping the public yeah i think it would be like in the united states 300 million people in the united states irs whoop, transfer a thousand dollars right to every bank account every, every person that paid taxes right filed for their taxes and it's not even 300 million there's 300 330 million all the population right i don't know what the taxable population was right so let's say 150 million let's say half the work half the people in the united states are working and are paying taxes so 150 million people okay thousand dollars a pop for for one month let's say right that's um 150 billion dollars right one tenth of the money that they're just allocated to go to wall street one tenth of that could have been a thousand dollar rebate for 150 million people in the united states who have paid taxes just imagine what the thousand dollars would do for people to prep themselves right they would feel at ease they if they were sick they would say okay i'm sick i can take a few days off right that's one tenth they could have done this for 10 months the equivalent of what they just dropped for wall street right 1.5 trillion to wall street and keep in mind right keep in mind more than 80 percent of the stocks on wall street are hold are held by institutional organizations and a huge percentage of that are people that are extremely well off right so they just took 1.5 trillion handed it over to the people that own 80 percent of the stocks on wall street while they could have extended this payout same amount 1.5 trillion right over a 10-month period giving a thousand dollars a pop for 150 million people in the united states who've paid taxes every month calm things down let people take time off if they're sick stay at home let like crazy eh? crazy 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 did i go too hard did i go too hard the eddie g wow chicho what a treat love catching you live stream live streams but it's so rare for me friday night surprise awesome awesome hope all is well from for you brother we're doing very well eddie thank you very much for dropping by wish it was a cheerier one Nah, it's okay. It, it, the discussion is, uh, it's information. For like for me, uh, it's sharing information, and of course, happy things and stuff is is amazing. This is part of life, right? We have to be proactive in the consumption of information. This is a part of it, right? I very often think about being in my older age and looking back at all this in the future perspective and how absolutely bonkers it sounds and how crazy everyone is being then again the future is definitely going to be bonkers bonkers that was the fed publicly stating that profits are more important to them than people yes and that is exactly coolio what they stated in 2008 when obama came into power and took all the wall street people and made him his cabinet right but for some reason people didn't understand that they didn't understand that they just said wall street is more important than everybody else right why because they are wall street that's the reason i refuse to participate in that system i'm not playing their game right i'm not sure how you get to that number 1.5 trillion well 350 million people don't pay taxes right 350 million Americans don't pay taxes that includes children and like whatever I think even 150 million people working filing taxes is I think that actually should be around there right that's 4,000 per person for a month right I was saying give them a thousand you enjoy myself so I was saying give them a thousand right and it's not you don't you're not going to give a thousand to every person or four thousand to every person right 
those people who pay taxes because those are the households in general right or those people who filed for taxes there's got to be some kind of system right if you do it per person then yeah do it per person i guess but it wouldn't be four thousand per person in a month and it wouldn't be a thousand dollars per person if for 10 months it would be a thousand dollars per person for four months right what's their dad's name he said 150 chicho went hard in the paint <laughs> yeah, sorry <laughs> it's the numbers it's the numbers yes this is the issue in america my favorite current meme is how can we afford 1.5 trillion to bail out the banks again and yet we don't have enough money to uh test sick americans for this pandemic virus um the problem with that eddie is they they have to manufacture those tests from what i understand uh, what I understand right and they don't have a rapid system of testing so first of all they're saying yeah they can't afford it the second part is the supply chain right the supply chain is not there for them to be ready right many of those are kids and others that are not taxpayers would not be part of a uh, tax rebate method 150 million was just a rough guess rough rough guess exactly obama did this before and biden is running on this platform again blue america is eating it up yeah i mean biden said he's going to put uh city groups uh jamie diamond in his cabinet <laughs> jamie diamond <laughs> it cracks me up by the way there's no way biden's gonna win right like what it's not gonna happen right and i don't think the dnc plans on biden winning they're just trying to make sure uh, another person doesn't get in and then hillary's gonna walk in that's my take right that's my guess not to mention that one poor sheriff would be more than enough to wipe out the entire nation's student loan debt yeah but students shouldn't be the only ones that get that release there's a lot of hard-working people that have never had the opportunity to go to school and they need to take care of themselves too right and again uh coolio i know you're just giving examples i'm not being hard on you man u.s population is 300 um uh, 327 million people laugh out loud. chicho just said that, that yeah wiping out that would be another method or suspension of mortgage payments yeah again the suspension of mortgage payments only helps those people who own houses there's a lot of people that are renting so you can't favor you can't favor landowners that's going to surf them right we need to band together as a working class and take power from the self-serving ruling class we need to stay organized when they try to divide us by political party race gender and ideology gaming anarchism 100 percent agree right 100 percent agree french revolution i don't agree with eating the rich i have i have rich friends and there are some amazing people that are well off that are trying to do good if biden wins i will eat both of my shoes <laughs> i don't think i don't i don't even think it's gonna as, as the saying goes go to distance or something hillary and romney are already uh talking about running as president and vp yeah coolio our armstrong blog i read that on armstrong's blog right makes me sick makes me sick too the u.s had over 90 percent tax rate for top bracket after world war ii this paid off debt and paid for infrastructure investment and social programs that led to the massive economic growth yeah and check this out income tax was introduced as a war tax right income tax was introduced income tax on people was introduced as a war tax so they could wage world war one or was it world war one or two I, I forget which one they are because they're just one war right so and then they didn't take it out not only that they kept on increasing income tax right so income tax consider a, consider a tax for the centralized institutions to wage war why do we have it a tax rebate is probably the most equitable method or a temporary universal basic income which amounts to the same thing yeah i don't like either uh either and romney is our senator in utah yikes national rent control would do so much to stabilize them uh, and improve the class mobility for the working class i agree with you too there's got to be there's got to be whatever it is uh gaming anarchism i looked at the stuff i agree and i don't agree to a certain degree because 
that still centralizes power, right? But the problem with our system right now is the central power is so blatantly corrupt that they fear nothing where they can turn during a pandemic, right? When borders are closed, people are dying, people are sick, nervous as hell, like people are freaking out, medication might be, people are hoarding things, people are, there's a run of groceries, all, all this, they come out and say, we're going to give $1.5 trillion to Wall Street. What? <laughs> it cracked me up. How the heck did Biden win your, uh, your state? Yeah. However, I will say that Romney was the only Republican to vote to impeach, which is because Trump goes against all Mormon ideology and Mormon Utah Republicans still support Trump. So hypocritical. So Romney is a Romney's bond pay for a gazillion times over. Pretty sure he probably voted that way so you can run with Hillary for the nomination, right? Or to, to the appointment. Gino Toscala. The whole world is scared and angry right now because a tiny little life form is showing us that our way of life, life is utterly broken and inherently unsustainable. Right on, Gina Toscala. Welcome, welcome. The Eddie G rent was more expensive than my current mortgage and taxes combined, but I was lucky enough to be able to save for a down payment on my home plus closing costs. Cool that's good eddie but you also have to consider this once you bought this house your mobility is down to zero right when you're renting you're mobile right within reason of course right if you're renting if you're a single person renting an apartment that's furnished you can leave the next day if you're if you're renting a place where you have your own stuff you can leave within a week if you're renting a house where you got lots of stuff you can leave within a month you know, like if you own a house with lots of stuff you can't leave for how long is it going to take you to list the house sell the house close the deal get the payments through the bank system going on move sign the contracts do the negotiation how long is it going to take you at least at least five six months the fastest you could do it is probably like four months right so your mobility goes down right not only that if the market's gone belly up you might be losing a lot of money so all of a sudden now you're in debt right so owning a house is fine and dandy as long as you've taken all those into consideration and you're okay with the non-mobility aspect of things right like for me in the last eight years uh i've moved once twice three um I've moved like six, seven times, right? And this is the longest place we've stayed here, which is like three years, right? So I moved a lot. Not sometimes not out of my own choosing, by the way. Right? Mobility goes down. I have no idea. I think there was uh, some rigging involved. I know that uh, they were reporting us about Romney getting elected. Districts had 100% reported when the voting wasn't even done yet. <laughs> and I know many people of my ages, ages who all said they voted Bernie. Yeah. Oh, this is for Biden. Yeah. The markets uh, bumped up for a day after the injection, then dropped again as, as people sold to take that added value back out. A day day <laughs> a one day bump what a waste yeah and all the ceos resigning in the last little while people cashing out and stuff you could see this to a certain degree coming while well, we were calling it i don't know year when we started live streaming a year year and a half ago da, 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 da. and this is the market is not the market class is not just due to corona that's just an excuse do you like george carlin for sure i've seen george carlin live I feel like you would agree with so many of his opinions. Yeah, Spider-Man, I want to saw him live. Even though I'm leaving the country in a year for um, numerous reasons, it pains me that unless stuff changes drastically, I don't have any desire to live, uh, live here possibly again. I don't like giving up, but living here is like a constant test on my mental health. Yeah, Coolio, 
don't burn your bridges yet okay uh, because wherever you go to might be worse than where you are right so take your time take your time owning property can be a good long-term investment but mortgages are typically front-loaded with the with interest you won't get significant equity until it is mostly paid off near the end of the loan yeah uh, how are your uh, registration rules in your state oh yeah this is the gaming anarchism this is for regarding Biden I'm just gonna skip that one uh, it's crazy how they would inject the 1.5 trillion just so the really wealthy people don't lose a lot of money but I guess that's uh, just how it works it's it's perception and there are funds that own them retirement things that own them and stuff so it's not just the very wealthy there is, there are funds and institutions that own these things but those institutions aren't liquid they can't uh, change their position overnight right so their injection right those the solo operators that own a lot they can they can press a button liquidate from one place and go to another overnight right or within a second to put right now oh, maybe depends how much they have they might have to uh dump it over an extended period of time like a few hours or a few days right and then at the same time go over here funds that own people rsps and stuff like this retirement plans mm, they can't do that right away okay oh i saw carlin in uh early 2000s mid 2000s early 2000s i think early 2000s late 90s late 90s early 2000s yeah, early 2000s early 2000s mid 2000s <laughs> somewhere there mid 2000s earlier mid 2000s the registering rules uh, weren't the issue okay that's the see. speaking of Burley, do you think it is democratic socialism could work or will it crumble like most social socialism does he, he's in the dnc whatever he does inside the democratic party will fail horrendously horrendously so what bernie wants to do is irrelevant because he's trying to do it in a burning building it, he's it's not gonna like right bernie has great policies but the issue would be whether or not he uh the good enact he he could enact any of them with how divided congress is yeah could. definitely worth a try over the shit that isn't working right now yeah there are there are things that bernie says that are legit there are also things that bernie says that are ridiculous right like he he when the coup was happening like bernie's foreign policy statements he's made a couple of okay foreign policy statements like he called the bolivian coup a coup as you should have but he he turned to venezuela and said they maduro has to resign the this joe blow guaido has to go lead venezuela. what are you talking about i don't know if he said guaido but saying that the venezuelan government would resign would have been the u.s puts guaido in how in the world could he say that right if he says that it means he doesn't understand u.s foreign policy if you don't understand u.s foreign policy you don't understand the united states you have to understand u.s foreign policy what will make or break the united states of america is u.s foreign policy not domestic policy that's where people really have to appreciate what 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 is at play here right what will make or break the united states of america is not the domestic policy it's u.s foreign policy that's where the focus should be the domestic policy will follow foreign policy okay and that has been doing that for a number of decades u.s people should be focused on u.s foreign policy period that's it nothing else okay hold them hoes who's hold them who's <laughs> hold them who's <laughs> i'm a libertarian and i might not even vote it's at this point a oh, hold your nose vote yeah i wouldn't vote democrat I, i'm canadian i can't vote but i won't vote democrat or republican no way 
people focus too much on the presidency no matter who is in charge yeah i agree with that nothing will progress unless uh, we abolish uh gerrymandering bipartisanship and elect the right people into congress and hold people accountable holding people accountable is the most important thing you need to do hold people accountable 2008 scam torturing lying cheating put them all in jail what's the problem i don't get it bernie has good ideas and is bringing up good doop, doop, good questions but it is not going about it the right way like bernie should have stood up for tulsi gabbard and said tulsi should be allowed to be in the debate period okay has bernie done that dnc changed the rules and prevented tulsi from being in the next debate from what i understand right did bernie come out and say tulsi should be allowed to be in the debate you can't change the rules of the game in the middle of the game for the next elections change the rules the rules change for the next election that's a different game you cannot change the game with the rules of the game in the middle of the game right that's not a fair game right the dnc completely corrupt is garbage bernie should just step out i'm out i'm forwarding my own party i'm forwarding, forming my own social democratic party or whatever he wants to call it right doesn't make a difference i feel like if bernie uh, could win as a independent he could run as one but our two-party system controls everything coolio it's it, it is they call it a two-party system but it's not a two-party system it's a one-party system it's the wall street party right it's the warmonger party they're both warmongers they're both wall street right they're all both centralization of power monopolies right it needs to change how does it change walk i use poor choices of words i apologize bernie's movement is so hopefully uh hopefully because it doesn't uh, rely on a broken congress to get things done it's about empowering people on the ground to force the hands of their congressmen i've never seen an elected official lead in this way yeah and that's one thing he's pushing which i agree with right it's about localization right but bernie has to get his together regarding u.s foreign policy U.S. foreign policy matters beyond anything else. He's getting it. He's slowly getting it. It took him long enough. Jeebus, right? He's slowly getting it. He refused to um, speak at APAC. He he called out Israel. He he said Bolivia was a coup, right? But then he goes and says Iran this and Russia this and uh, Venezuela this. Crazy, right? He needs to get. He's stuck in the. He's playing. He's 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 fallen into the trap of the dnc they're playing him like a fiddle right because they're afraid of him they're afraid of the movement they're afraid of localization they're afraid of decentralization right so what you need to do because bernie if he really means what he says he'll walk okay grassroots dnc is not grassroots walk splinter it right exactly what the kennedy needed to do to the cia right splintered into a thousand pieces into a million pieces what did he say before the lone gunman came along right hello what's going on in the stream lots of stuff maurice i cannot support by no way tosi gabbard has the best foreign policy among the current candidates but they won't let her have a voice much less a chance of winning yep he's losing his mind uh he has office yeah biden yeah yeah the grassroots approach is good if we can continually apply it to all areas of a political system yeah yeah tulsi has probably been screwed over most in this election yeah big time right what are your thoughts on warren no warren warren was no right warren is warren no right does the presidential candidate care about uh, COVID-19 I don't know like the 15 no. listen to the wind like the $15 minimum wage Bernie didn't wait for Washington DC to make it happen he marched with workers in Orlando and got Florida's largest em employer to guarantee a 50 minimum wage did the same thing with Amazon workers cool 
he would probably have a greater impact as an independent candidate for sure he would change the game he would go down in history all right at in a few orders of magnitude more important than he is now right he needs to take that leap right Tulsi and Bernie had the only rational approach to COVID-19. They've all spoken on it so far, except Biden, I think. Biden can't even, Biden doesn't know what's what, right? He's, he's probably pooping himself right now, right? Biden is being hidden by the DNC as much as possible because of how he carries himself in public. His brain is melting, yeah. The stupid part of the war for profit group is that they there is equal or better uh potential uh profits with peace yeah 100 okay gang i'm gonna scroll down to the bottom again okay sorry if i missed anything i need to pop another uh another one of these guys Maurice, yeah. With COVID-19, they're just going to let it run through. Just have to make sure it's it's going to go slow, hopefully. Right? Uh, Gina uh, Toscala, why isn't Warren endorsing? Because she's playing politics a little bit, right? She's pissed. She doesn't like the DNC. She got screwed over. Or right, she's angry doesn't make a difference like if because if warren uh, endorses biden then it like she's a sellout but it's going to be obvious that she's a sellout then if she endorses uh bernie she knows bernie's going to lose right so she's going to put herself with a loser right so she's like going she can't believe she wasn't the woman chosen but warren warren is full of crap right some of the things she said are ridiculous right i don't remember them right now but when i heard them heard her i heard her say some of these things is like her thing on russia and iran and this and that and middle east and stuff it's just ridiculous uk da, 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 da. even in 2016 elections there was evidence that michigan didn't count 70,000 plus votes yeah that was 2016 was a highway robbery from uh um, Bernie, right? But he, he he started promoting the person that robbed them. He should have walked then. Chichu, are you gonna do another honey jarring video? That uh, that was my first video I saw. Ah, nice, nice. Holden, I can't do. Uh, I took pictures. This year's honey supply wasn't as big as last year's honey supply, so I didn't get the big buckets, the white buckets that we had, right? Because of a lot of uh, bee colonies had died, right? So the bee population got hit hard, right? So this year we ended up buying jars of honey, like from the same seller, but they had already jarred it, right? And we paid a little bit higher price for it as well. I've taken a picture, I'll post the pictures maybe tomorrow or next day um and it's really good honey amazing honey so there's going to be no jarring honey video this year we bought the we could only buy the honeys jarred if we did buy it in buckets oh yeah i would have done one and done one again right it's very good honey though super delicious andrew yang ended up being a huge disappointment and got sucked into the game of politics completely yeah andrew yang garbage 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 He's like saying, yeah, go get Assange. It's like, get, get out of here. Warren is here to serve. She owe us to endorse Bernie, to be honest. Warren is there to serve. She owe us to endorse. She's not going to, I don't know if she's going to endorse. My, she'll come out of the, like, you know, if she endorses uh, Bernie, at least, it'll show a little bit of backbone on her side and i won't 
regard her in the same book as Andrew Yang, let's say, right? I agree with Chicho's criticism of Bernie's po uh, uh, public foreign policy statements. I think he's playing a bit of a politics and he his actual foreign policy will be less hawkish on Venezuela than his public statements. He should come out and say it. He Bernie what may what's brought Bernie to where he's it's brought him is because he didn't play politics, right? But he's trying to play politics. He's trying to play their game. Their game is done. It's exposed. Anybody that pretends goes in there and tries to play their game and try to change the system from within, they're going to lose support. No one's going to I refuse to support anyone that does that because that that's totally corrupt, right? Bernie needs to stop playing politics. No politics. No more politics, man. It's past midnight. I'm in no way, shape, or form a Nazi. But we need more uh, curveballs like Arthur Jones thrown into the public. Uh, I don't know who Arthur Jones is. Why did the DNC censor Tulsi? I'm just now hearing about her. Why? Because Tulsi talks about foreign policy. Tulsi is ruthless, as she should be, right? When you see something vile, you need to be ruthless with it, right? Bernie allows them to rig it against him. He'll just endorse Biden. If he comes out and endorses Biden, man, I like to see what Bernie supporters will say. When the time comes, he gets no sympathy from me. Yeah, specter, uh, spectral shot, I agree. No sympathy, right? Warren is a right winger using left wing branding. That that means well, focusing on the superficial while leaving the established intact. Post apocalypse, I 100% agree with you. Well said. Hello. I'm voting for Vermin Supreme. Screw. <laughs> you ever go on the crab fishing boat? I've I I've caught crab in in the thing majigis in the baskets you take a little bit of fish cut a little bit of fish put it in the basket thing and the cooked crabs go in there fresh crab is amazing man Oof. liz waited until bernie was dead in the water before she endorsed hillary in 2016 she's not an ally she's a part of the problem 100 percent. warren is part of the problem right yeah vermin supreme yes he will give everyone a pony. <laughs> I don't know what this vermin supreme is, but I like it. I'll vote with you guys. Ver vermin supreme. Bernie has more right, right than wrong. Not as good as Tulsi, but better than the better than the others for sure. Right? By Biden <laughs> is Tulsi still Tulsi still running? Tulsi still running. She's welcome in my house any day. Right? I'll cook her, cook up a storm for her, right? Uh, that's how much respect I got for Tulsi right now because of her foreign policy, right? Yes, though she sadly probably doesn't have a chance with all the suppression. No, she's, she doesn't have a chance. That's where she never had a chance. But it's the voice that matters. That's what matters. Bernie will endorse the nominee because Bernie cares too much about the people who will be hurt by even incrementally worse policy. Th that, in the long run, is a, is a death sentence, um, gaming anarchism. That's why he will end up endorsing. I wish he would risk it. But then again, I'm not one of those vulnerable people who would be worse, uh, worse, most hurt by uh okay the thing gaming anarchism in in the short term maybe more people will be hurt right in for that moment right but for the long haul less people will be hurt people are being hurt right now why are they being hurt right now because bernie didn't walk in 2016. why are they being hurt right now because people f believed in the hope and the and the obama thing that came along in 2008 people need to walk right because in the long run it's like uh, what do you call it it's just like economics right you inflate a bubble the next time it pops it's going to be way detrimental to society than the first time it popped right so they've been inflating these bubbles so 
every time that it's going to pop, it's going to hurt more and more people. No, sometimes you got to take your medicine, right? You got to take your medicine. If a Bernie supporter, I'm a Bernie supporter, and there is no chance I vote for Biden, regardless of Biden, uh, Bernie's endorsement. Perfect, Eddie. I would not vote for Biden. No way. Right? Not that I can, but damn, man, I got all these charter boat gift cards from all from all of these. You could always vote Trump. Yeah. Uh, it's and that could be like a what do you call it? Uh, protest vote right all the bernie supporters go and vote for trump and wearing bernie shirts right just imagine the unity that would be brought together right what an impact that would have right just imagine if they scam bernie right they put biden in and then biden can't go the distance and then hillary and romney are appointed right so biden hillary or romney let's say one of those people and romney would have to walk across the across the political aisle right just imagine what would happen if millions of Bernie supporters wore Bernie shirts and went to Trump rallies saying, we support Trump. Just imagine if they went to the elections and voted for Trump as a protest vote. And that dialogue started to form between Bernie supporters and Trump supporters what would the united states political landscape look like because i can guarantee you bernie supporters and trump supporters they got more in common than bernie supporters and hillary supporters okay it's times like these that i want to build a cabin in the woods buy a nice lake buy a nice lake and buy a dog uh, have a beer and forget the troubles of the world coolio I'll come and have a beer with you. Thanks for the stream. My pleasure, Nicholas. I'm gonna bow out as it's 5 a.m. here. Peace, Chicho, and chat. Uh, chat you so uh, bye Nicholas. And I hope things work out regarding your refund uh, with PayPal. Seriously, I seriously hope they work out. It would suck if it did, if it doesn't. I've been burned before too, man, so I know how that feeling goes. I don't know what to do. Uh, not with PayPal and uh, eBay, but actually eBay I have been, but with other things. I don't know what to do yet if it if it is Biden versus Trump in the end. Write in or uh, write in or small party vote, I guess. Yeah. I'm not voting Trump either. I will vote down ballot, but I'll abstain from the president vote. Cool. I do agree somewhat. I'm just saying I take Warren over Trump. Unfortunately, it's a fantasy to think our lives could ever be isolated from the effects of political policy. Yeah, everything is politics as the saying goes, right? Chicho, Chicho should take us on a field trip. We will go <laughs> on a grab boat. <laughs> That's also another choice. What are some of the foreign policy Tulsi has said? Pull out of the wars. Get out of the Middle East, right? Why are we selling... Uh, uh, weapons to Saudi Arabia why are we giving uh, billions of dollars to Israel why are we conducting uh, military coups all around the world a lot of things over half uh, Afghanistan so much over half of Biden's own supporters can't even name two of his policies <laughs> Biden <laughs> they have been deluded by the DMC into thinking he can beat Trump. yeah there's no way he can beat Trump and that is the sole reason they support him. That and the fact that he was Obama's guy. Oh. If it was Trump or Obama running, I wouldn't vote for either of them either, by the way. That's my take. Obama is just as horrendous as Trump. People are going to freak out on this, but he was, right? Syria, Libya, Yemen, uh, Honduras, Ukraine. The death and destruction unleashed was unbelievable how come people don't remember this well a lot of people do actually they just don't speak out because they're afraid a little bit Tulsi is for diplomacy without conditions move toward peace and less conflict in a nutshell my protest vote is going to be for myself i'm going to write my name <laughs> nice you should write down coolio <laughs> majority voters are usually not as passionate or not as informed about politics 
Chicho, walking isn't enough. Uh, walking isn't enough. The power that the one-party system holds doesn't rely on our uh, participation. The only way to oppose is organized opposition, politically and economically. Yeah, but the organization, uh, game, uh, gaming anarchism, the organization right now, I think the mistake is there's too much energy being put into the presidency, the ruling, uh, the ultimate, right, whatever, the commander-in-chief or whatever you want to call them, right? There should be way more energy being put into the local communities, right? It's local organizing and political activism that's going to change everything, which is one thing I like about Bernie, which is one thing that brought Trump into the into the into power. It wasn't Trump; it was his party, his, the people backing him, right? The the money backing him, right? I'm 25 uh, too, so I can't even legally become president the ultimate protest vote me for president and break the system tulsi has short videos about specific policies on her youtube channel yeah orange apple bananas how are you doing bernie tulsi 2020 yeah if they broke out formed their own party man that would be a beautiful hurricane right most Americans don't realize we've been at the same war for 20 years and can't even point out Iraq or Afghanistan on a map. Yeah, to be honest, Tulsi won't be uh, too good for foreign policy if she attacked Obama numerous. Uh, if she attacked Obama numerous times, numerous of times, numerous times, I guess, for not stating that the real enemy is radical Islam bit off subject but saw the bloodshot trailer yesterday and thought thought of you have you seen it yet no i haven't seen it uh, richard but right now because of uh uh what's going on with uh covid uh i'm not gonna go to the theaters right i'm not gonna go to the theaters <laughs> what's this guy's head i have no idea what this guy's head is but it's cracking me up uh, I'm just at a point where I don't even want to think about Trump for the next four years, regardless. Oh, okay. Now we got to do a little bit of control troll action. Too many heads. Oh, someone took care of it. Who took care of it? Spider Man, take care of it. Nice, Spider Man. You rock. Awesome. Thank you. I had to scroll scroll down guys. Oh look at this guy. Look at this guy. Weak, weak, weak troll, weak troll, weak troll, weak troll. Weak troll. Weak troll. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what you get from a centralized education system weak trolls weak trolls i like beautiful hurricanes also america is technically still at war with north korea yeah yeah how many wars how many wars uh, the afghan papers came out right afghan papers came out <laughs> chicho so how about that mineral collection part two? Oh, dude i gotta put out that mineral collection part two orange apple banana orange apple banana Doop. kevin o'reilly running in canada oh kevin o'reilly god what a joke what a joke i've modded someone else's stream before if you ever need more enforcement chicho okay coolio you know what coolio spider-man spider-man you second uh coolio mod spider-man you second coolio mod nice spider-man when cool uh, coolio you want to be a mod you're good with mod let's do more more mod power spider-man you seconding this coolio you're in you're in like flynn spider-man just give me the word i got it all typed in 
I got it all typed in. 100%. Coolio's in. <laughs> Coolio, welcome to the to the clan, brother. Welcome to the clan. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Good stuff. Awesome. Congrats. Nice, nice. Awesome. Thank you for thank you for the offer, by the way. Welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Nice. Nice. Uh, by the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. I know I haven't been keeping tabs on and stuff because I've been really just trying to stay up with the chat. Uh, I do appreciate the, um, the subs and I do appreciate the follows and the participation in the conversation, of course. I'll place up the anti-troll barrier. <laughs> nice, Coolio. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and we'll teach them a little philosophy in the process, right? The weak ones are so weak, though. Oh, the weak ones here are so weak. Like, it's like, uh, I don't know. They, it's, it's not even like a six-year-old. It's like a 14-year-old that is not intellectually all there yet, right? Or a 15-year-old. Sometimes like a 13, 12-year-old. Or it's like something's lacking, right? Chicho gaming channel. Chicho plays Fortnite. If I play, I I will do games at some point for sure. But it's not going to be Fortnite. And the mineral. Who who was it that brought up the mineral question? The mineral video. Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, Polly Polly Walnut. So how how's about that mineral collection part two video? That's one of the things I'm going to try to get to. Okay, I'll I'll see. I'll see when I can do it, right? There's a few other things that I need to do. I need to do it. as soon as I do the comic book readings, there's four of them I gotta do. I shot one of them, I gotta edit it, shoot the other three. As soon as we do those, then the mineral and a couple of other the gaming and the poster videos come online. Uh they're in my queue. I'll try my best. Uh, time is uh, limited, right? sorry i wasn't no no worries spider-man no it's part of the game man every every now and then you get a little troll action that's okay every now and then you come across you know a fly crosses your path you gotta swat it away right looks like we banned someone at the same time nice <laughs> looking forward to it okay polly thank you me too actually very much i need to give that whole area a cleaning uh, spring cleaning i think we're gonna go through that area and redo everything okay he's got mod in several time zones now nice which helps when he does streams at different times awesome awesome that's good that's good and we, we haven't um yeah you know we've had we've needed mods <laughs> at certain times a lot <laughs> i'm excited to have your team awesome awesome good stuff gang so uh, what should we do gang should we call the stream we're gonna do a another live stream tomorrow at 8 30 p.m and we're gonna focus on uh, on covid 19 okay coronavirus i'll see if i can get some data together i might not i might just we can just maybe talk about things right we did talk about it today a fair bit actually but we're gonna do it tomorrow as well um we'll see we'll see what i can get ready prep for tomorrow uh and then the next day sunday morning at uh i believe 10 a.m we're going to talk politics economics personal finance and whatnot okay oh i have an economics thought experiment i was uh thinking about the other day but i but i can save it for another live stream okay coolio awesome my wife should be joining for a bit awesome spider-man yeah you mentioned that and then on wednesday we're gonna at 2 30 p.m i believe we're gonna play our 10 by 10 puzzle the 10 by 10 puzzles back we need a little bit of downtime we've been doing a lot of economics politics covid 19 and current events and stuff just because it's heavy right now and there's a lot of things we need to deal with but slowly we're going to start doing a little bit more chill live streams the 10 by 10 puzzle is one of the first ones okay another one we're going to do most likely uh i might even not make an announcement of it i might just do it randomly just out of the blue is uh 
I've been thinking about showing you guys the comic books I bought for the last like eight months or a year or so. I have like six short boxes and I thought we'd put those out. I might just make a video out of it, not, not a live stream. Maybe we'll do a live stream, I don't know. But I thought maybe showing you guys all the comic books I bought for the last year or the sh six short boxes that I have. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But we're going to do a little bit of chill as well once we deal with this uh, COVID-19 and some of the chaos that's going on, All right? Uh, aside from that, gang, you speak other languages, correct? Have you ever considered doing a chill stream about teaching that? No, I can't teach languages. I'm not very good at them. And math is a language, so I guess I am doing it. I'm teaching mathematics, but no other languages. And my vocabulary is very limited. Like English is my best language, and it's the only one I can read and write in, right? Gang, thank you for joining us. Okay. YouTube channel, thank you, Spider-Man. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Coolio, welcome to the clan. Uh, Spider-Man, thank you for <laughs> being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and if there's anything specific you want to address, put it on our Discord page, and I'll try to prep it tomorrow so we can talk about it tomorrow regarding COVID-19 because you said your wife's going to be talking. Uh, your wife's going to be joining us, right? So if there's anything on your mind or in your wife's mind, post it on Discord. I'll try to look it up, and maybe we can address it, right? Good stream. Time for bed. Happy to be part of the mod squad. Awesome, Coolio. Thanks for the uh, content. My pleasure. Dragons, how are you doing? My first Chicho stream, and I stayed the whole time. Awesome. Hold, holding who's. Hopefully, I'll be here tomorrow. Awesome. The one thing we say about Corona here is Texas. In Texas, at least it didn't happen during cowboy season. <laughs> nice. Okay, gang. Hope you guys have a fantastic evening, morning, and uh, we'll chat in about 24 hours, 22 hours. Okay. Bye for now.